it's been a while since I did a life update for you guys, and a lot has happened. We got married in June, and that was awesome. I'm still waiting on uh, the photographer to send all of the pictures, um, and I'm really excited about that. We went on our honeymoon. Uh, we went to Mexico, and oh my god, it was a blast. And we got back. Beckett turned one year old on July 17th, and that was an emotional day for sure. I can't believe it's been a year already with this little guy. Um, he's breastfeeding right now <laughs> while I'm filming this. We were supposed to move into our house, um, but it got delayed. So originally the closing date was in January, and then it was in June, two days before the wedding, and now it's September 14th, um, which kind of sucks because all of the mortgage rates have increased substantially. So since we first applied for a mortgage uh, to be approved, uh, the rates have doubled, and increased our monthly payment by about $600 just in interest, so not fun. We have not been priced out of a house just yet. <laughs> we can still afford it, um, but if there are any more delays, then I don't know. Um, that might be another update to come. I'm really hoping we get to move in September. <sighs> what else? Um, daycares. Not a single daycare has contacted me to take Beckett. My very last day, November 14th. So uh, that's like the very last day of my 18 month maternity. After that, they don't need to keep me. Like they don't need to guarantee my job basically. And the only prospects I have maybe will take him, take, take him in January. And even those, there's like 100 people in front of me. So unless 99 people or 100 people <laughs> find daycare elsewhere or don't need daycare or whatever it's not happening so yeah um because of the fear of not being able to go back to work because I can't find a place to take care of Beckett um we had to kind of rethink our plans here and uh I started um this has kind of been in the works for a while. I've wanted to have my own business since I graduated. Then I started working, then I got pregnant, and all this other stuff. But um, me and two other graduates of my program are starting a renovation business. So there's a lot of experience and knowledge between the three of us. And yeah, I'm really excited about that. Uh, it's going to be a slow start for that one, though. We're just kind of starting with projects of people we know, family members, friends, um, and from there I, we can do some uh, marketing to get other potential clients. Um, so that's in the works, and then I started a second business, a waxing business. I got certified, um, and I'm hoping that will be more like our my steady stream of income, um, where I can do that from home. That's been going well. I've only had the business kind of up and had had like marketing plans up for about a week now and I've got a few clients booked. So that's going well as well. It's kind of it's kind of strange to have to do that, you know, like you kind of like you you get pregnant and we have 18 months maternity and you're like, "Oh yeah, and then you'll they'll get into daycare and you'll go back to work." Awesome. But like, when the wait lists are two years plus, that doesn't really work out, right? So then, all of a sudden, you're not guaranteed your job. And then, all of a sudden, whoever is the parent that kind of sacrifices their career may not get their job back. A.K.A. me. <laughs> a, a career I really worked hard for, so, I mean... Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's my priority has always been Beckett anyways, so as long as he's got 
a roof over his head and parents that love him, then um, for me, the career is okay to sacrifice. But yeah, that's, <laughs> there's just a lot on our plate right now. And then on top of that, all before all of this, I was planning the wedding and woo, it was, <laughs> it's been a really busy year ever since I found out I was pregnant, well, a year and a half ever since I was pre pregnant. It's been super busy. So, yeah. That's like a very quick life update for you guys. That's what I've been doing. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> He's a sweetie. Okay, I'm going to go put this guy down for a nap, but thanks for tuning in. I need to upload more videos on here. I know that. <laughs> um, but thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.